Man, we on the back streets with your girl code, man. We got my homie in this bitch, Mr. YD the kid, man. Y'all know who it is. Second time around, I appreciate you first and foremost, man. My nigga been growing since we last uh last fucking link, man. That's been about a year ago. Nigga still doing this thing, man. But let everybody know once again who the fuck you is, where you from, and what you got coming. Hey man, it's YD the kid, man. Y'all already know, man. If you don't know, you're gonna learn today, goddamn me. Uh, right now we pushing Blood Love. That's the single video out now on YouTube. Y'all can check that shit Go out. Go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, I'm finna get ready to surprise my fans with a whole tape full of substance. But the catch to the tape is, like, I freestyle everything. No punch-ins, no nothing. It's one song where I did the chorus and I had to punch in for the ad-libs. That's it. Other than that, it's straight through. It's called Just Some for SoundCloud. Just Some for it's SoundCloud. A bad, it's a vibe. It's a, it's a whole vibe, bro. The whole tape is a vibe. Just Some for SoundCloud, bro. I got to ask you, man, why that name? That's dope as fuck. Because hey, like, is it really just only gonna be available SoundCloud? Only? Yeah, and I'm okay. thinking about doing a little like all right word to like every song on this because I know as it grows and people start to pick up on it and as it it it, 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 it generates the numbers that I know it's gonna do, people are gonna want to see visuals for it. But I'm not gonna just drop a regular visual. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna just drop video, 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 video. It's gonna be a short film. Oh yeah, you know are you hooking saying? back so, up with uh, uh, Vito or are you going with other guys or? Have you decided yet? Well, I know, I know for what I'm trying to do. Let me turn these around so they can see y'all, so they can see. See everybody, man. We live. Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. Tell uh, them to tap in too. Y'all tap in with Back Streets with Cole, man. She do interviews and everything, man. It's live me. This broadcasting all over the world. You know what I'm saying? It's oh, just we all over the world. Yeah. yeah, we all over the world. Okay. Bro. Like for real, for real, for global so, shit. Y'all check that out. They live me too. All this that, you know what I'm saying, can't get a following on Instagram, can't get a following on Facebook, Twitter, all that shit, go to Live Me. Live Me let you connect with, direct with the artists. I ain't getting paid to tell y'all this shit, none of that shit. Like, like right now, my fan base is just booming right now, and I ain't do nothing but click on this motherfucker. And I Damn. just started it like two months ago. How did you find out about it? Uh, my little brother, my little oh, brother okay. Bop, my artist, my little brother Bop, whatever. But yeah, man, uh... Uh, hey, I got the question you asked now. Are you yeah. hooking up with other directors for the music videos? And oh, shit? yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I, what I'm thinking about with the project, like, I want it to be like, I want it to be so hard and so underground that, like, the quality of the motherfucker, like, they won't be able to deny this, the art of the whole situation. Because, like I say, even though I'm just freestyle running it, I'm real deal painting the picture. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I'm real, real bringing that aspect back to music, you know what I'm saying? So Why I that want name? that to be, you know what I'm saying, portrayed through the visuals, you okay. know what I'm saying? So I want them to know, like, you know what I'm saying, this is just more than music, like we digging into it this time, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, it's free, you know, cause nobody nothing but a click to you know, jam it. So like, you know what I'm saying, it's not like me asking you to go download this motherfucker on uh, Apple Music or iTunes, like the motherfucking Always Never Not Working that's finna drop. That's the That's something new right too? There. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I've been, man, I've been, that's why I've been closed in. Like when I go in my shell, it's work time. I'm okay. doing something wrong. If I drop something and I don't get the response that I want right off the bat, okay, yeah, that's cool. I'ma still push it, but I'm finna start working on some other shit. Cause it, it's, it's, it's getting to that time where like, bro, I'm, Getting up there, I'm for the 30, you know what I mean? So yeah. there ain't no time to play. play yeah. You gonna get it or you ain't gonna get it. What so response what are you looking for, YD? Like what, like response from the fans, the industry? I'm not so much as worried about the industry, bro, but I'm just waiting for that one coat following song gotcha. that, I, that, that I drop and motherfuckers cannot stop singing it. Like, okay, I get the response that I be looking for for my music, but not in those numbers. It'll be like four or five people here, 15 people over here know I want that bitch to boom like a motherfucking nuke bomb and everything in the radius that I drop it in I want it to touch it you know what I'm saying and I want that it makes like sense. yeah man like like Lizzo like Lizzo yeah. like Lizzo prime True. example True. you know what I'm saying that girl pushed that song for damn near what three four years something yeah. like that man 2017 yeah you know what I'm saying it's so it's crazy 
yeah, that's how it goes. So that's what I'm doing. But I'm also continue to work for the labels that I know personally is watching me because I see them. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And gotcha. I want you to know, like, I'm doing this without a machine. Like, I'm doing this all, you. all out of pocket. For real, like, for, for real. real. For so. How hard is that? I mean, it's Because a lot of people don't see the behind the scenes shit. A lot of people don't, you know, see everything. How hard is it? Well, is it hard? It's not hard because it's it's my dream. It's what I want. It all boils down to what they say, man. Either you, go, either you want it or you don't. But what I'm not going to do is, like, you know what I'm saying, overextend myself so a motherfucker just to pay their bills and they not working for me because they already got their hands full with an artist that they done made popular and shit True. like that. And yeah, you know yeah. how that go. They going to cater to them. Yeah. I ain't trying to get shelved, so I might as well try to pop it myself. Do you think artists still get shelved? Hell yeah, artists get shelved. Oh, Hell yeah, man, come on, man. Hell yeah, they get shelved, man. They like, still get shelved? Hey, motherfuckers still getting put on the show, man. Like, he, look how long we've been waiting for Eternal to take from Uzi. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. We've been waiting That's, a long time. That was that bullshit time. deal, though. You know? That's understood, but at the same time, that man been had this. Yeah, you he right. Been had it, sitting on it, waiting. I don't want it to be that, but... But look how they responded when he dropped. But that, that wasn't... He knew it already. That would have did that when he dropped the deal. This is Uzi. It is the same thing. This gotcha. is Uzi. You know what I'm okay. saying? He know. Like, I wouldn't seen, like, I was blessed to, like, a lot of people don't be getting to go to, like, big ass concerts and festivals and shit because they be so locked in to the, the hood. hood. They be scared Talk about to it, travel bro. out and shit. You know what I'm saying? But me, I got white friends and shit. So, right. like, my, right. my, my bro travel, my other mud brand nigga travel, you know what I'm saying? He take me to the ACL festival and shit, and I just get to see. A whole new walk of life, bro. That's like, what it's about. It's a too. whole different ball game. These people. <coughs> this is the crowd that the artist needs to be a part of, it, bro. Because these these motherfuckers here are, are actually here to buy down, listen to music. Yeah. Like that's what they here for. They came to jam, get their jam on and shit. You know what I'm saying? Seeing different shit, traveling the world. Like they looking to be a fan to you, and all you gotta do is go. Yeah. Like now, my first year going, I just solely went Support. for the journey. Okay, nigga. you know what I'm saying? Cause it was just on some, it was just on some, you know, big chill shit, nigga. We finna pop these mushrooms, smoke this gas, and we finna trip out. Okay. And shit, it was just man, I went and seen some EDM shit, oh. Twenty One Savage, Lizzo, Lil Uzi, goddamn, uh, what's the rock band, uh. Guns and Roses, Damn, all that shit, Real right? Slasher was there. It's a three day, it's a three day event, and it's, it's live, bro. It's oh, that's live. dope. That's what motherfuckers need to go to, like promote and let motherfuckers know. Like South by Southwest is cool, right. but everybody pretty much know about South by Southwest. What they coming to do here? True. You know what I'm saying? You can get it right now. Just pull up. I got the cameras on me and everything. <laughs> yeah, come on. He's plugged yeah. in, y'all see that backstreet shit? Only. Yeah. yeah, man, but um Back live though, man, what do you want your uh when it's all over with man, when the dirt hit your eyes and shit, what do you want your legacy to be as far as the whole YD the kid brand? He meant something. Okay. It ain't just it ain't just fame, notoriety, money. It ain't none of the materialistic shit that I want, bro. I had it hard, like real, like, man, cold. If you only knew, like, for real, bro. Growing up, bro, uh -huh. the nigga that you see today was was not me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it took it took me walking my head in the streets uh -huh. and, like, learning niggas is not your friends. And, Bitches ain't good for you and your family will do dirt. It took years of motherfucking trial and error to get to where I am today. That's why I be so respect demanding because like I really had to fight for this shit. You know what I'm saying? I really had to make a motherfucker respect me right. respect. as a person. Before I even had the nuts of the gall to try to be an artist, I had to make a motherfucker respect me as a person. So once I did that, and you know what I'm saying? I became this person, bro, and I found my voice. It was like, there's no way I'm gonna let a child my age what that I was. And I felt like that. Yeah. I feel like this. Damn. How did you find your voice to an artist that's out there watching 
that need to know how to find their voice. Man, I just, really what it is, man, you just got to. Because you did find your voice, even me and you back then to now, it's like, damn, my nigga be jamming, jamming. Like, when you at shows, I be knowing the shit, it sound radio, you know, it's for radio, you know, it sound good. Shit, How did you figure that shit out? Man, it's just like I stopped. I stopped trying to cater to okay. the fans that I wanted and just started, like, not so much as going with the flow, but, like, trying to stay in pocket. It's very big to stay in pocket. If you can stay in pocket with the trend of music and the shit that's going and you're still you, you know what I'm saying? You're doing it in your own style and shit. That makes a motherfucker go ahead and like, okay, this motherfucker doing something. Because now, like, it's like mainstream DJs and shit. When they see me, oh, what's up, YD boy? Yeah, man, hey, I seen that shit you posted yeah, on Instagram. Okay. That shit, la, 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 la. Niggas DM me, hey, man, stop playing, come through, boo, boo, boo. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? All that is happening, that's cool. But it's just that <coughs> I want more than that. I feel that. I don't want to suck at myself into something small for a, when yes, I know I, I can just jump right into the big leagues because I can do the same thing as, you know what I'm saying? No no discrediting from none of them or none of that, you know what I'm saying? But I could do the same thing of the Travises and, you know, the Kendricks and the Waynes and, you know, all that shit. Man, I can do all that shit. And maybe, like you say, maybe even bigger and more, but I'm not thinking like that. My thing is to, like, to get those kids to feel like they got nobody, no one. Like, I don't know. God just blessed me with a strong-ass mind. Because, right. like, it was times where I felt like, nigga, motherfuckers tell me I was nothing. Right. <coughs> like, legit. Right. <coughs> nigga, you shit. Kids at school, you know what I'm saying? Same shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. here at home. I'm here at school. You know what I mean? It's right. like, hey, shit, this what it is. This what you is.